Support for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics and Unum. I used to get in fights all the time. Like, I had anger issues. I used to get real, real mad. The anger was coming from my dad not being there, me not being able to do things that most kids can do, and my mom being, being an alcoholic. When I'm boxing, I feel like I can, like, all the anger that I had built up, I can just release that out on something that's not bad. Youth Community Action Project started in 1998 by my father, Joe Smith. Uh, it's a YMCA program. We're under the YMCA umbrella of Metropolitan Chattanooga. We work with middle school age kids. They're referred to us through the, uh, the juvenile court system, principals, guidance counselors, but they're kids that's been identified as at risk and uh, you know have taken a wrong turn or, or are struggling somewhere in their life and they need that early intervention. What the staff here at YCAP is trying to do is to intervene in these kids' lives when they're just starting to act out and get in trouble so that you don't read about them shooting one another in the newspaper. When kids your age are acting out, it's because of the things that's going on in the person. 90% of all juvenile crime takes place between the hours of 3 and 7. Those are the hours that kids getting out of school, no parents at home, and they have the most free time. The kids are just bored. There's nothing to do, so they get in trouble. And then they hang with the bad crowds and the gangs. They think they don't have family, so they think that the gangs are their families. And then they end up going down the wrong path. We feel like that if we can get them busy doing something out of school during those times that will deter them from getting into trouble, that we're, we're a success right off the bat just because of that. YCAP started in 98. Um, we started out doing a, a little league football team. And then we realized that uh, uh, when football was over with, it was kind of like, okay, what's next? And so we just decided, hey, let's try boxing and give it a shot. And what I learned very quickly is that I could reach a lot of street tough, inner city kids through the sport of boxing. You know, some of them get to fighting at school and then they come here and they find out that they're not so bad after all. But some of them, the ones that do get in trouble for fighting a lot and they come in and you find out, wow, this kid can really fight. So now he finds out he can fight without getting in trouble. So, you know, that's the transition. We look at at risk as a lot of different factors. So single parent homes, a lot of kids being raised in the state uh, custody uh, or in foster care. Uh, a lot of kids being raised by grandparents. So dads are absent uh, for a, bi a big degree. Many of them will go home tonight after the program is over. The electricity's turned off or the water's turned off. Uh, there's no food in the refrigerator. You know, when I was growing up, my monsters were very, very pretend. These kids' monsters are very, very real. Kevon has been with us four years now, and um, pretty tough background. Even to a point, at one point in his life, was homeless. We didn't. We had to live in a shelter because my mom and my stepfather had gotten in a fight. So we was living in a shelter, and it was hard because there was only two beds, and then we had to share a bed with my brothers. YCAP just stayed really close to the family, and he has a great mom who just really wants to do the right thing for her children, single mom, and we kind of helped her through that process, got her in a home. They provided for me, my mom, and my, my, my brothers, and, and they really gave us a lot. Like, when we moved in our new house, they helped us with beds, they helped us with, they gave us t new TVs, um, pillows, and stuff like that, and like equipment for the house. 
our staff here, number one, understands that, that working at YCAP is not a job, it's a lifestyle. And what does that lifestyle mean? Well, that lifestyle means you're going to be, uh, you know, a, a father figure, a mother figure, you're going to be a big brother figure, a big sister figure. We want to do everything possible to make sure that every child that comes here is set up for success. We all have something that y'all can help us with. Every day we spend one hour in what we call group therapy and we feel like it's the most important thing that we do because we feel like you're not going to get to the grades and the academic piece until you get to the root of the problem. Some kids they think they come in and walk out just the box but they're getting a lot, of, a lot of other stuff that they don't even know that they're getting. And so we try to really teach them and let them know that it's okay to have problems and why you're in this program because we're all here for a reason. I want to improve on like my behavior, my grades at school, because I used to get in fights all the time. And like, my grades is real low. Like I want to become better. I want my grades to be higher. I didn't want to be like that no more. What the YCAP staff is trying to do is to get these kids to outgrow, literally outgrow from a, a maturity standpoint, the adults in their life and make better choices and understand that there is hope. We teach them that life's gonna punch you in the face and you either lay down or you get up and you fight back. And there's gonna be things that's gonna happen to you that's gonna be completely out of your control, but how you handle that shows what your character is made of. And Kevon, is, he's a world champion, boxer, and uh, a great student at Brainerd High School. Coming to us, being on probation to now an AB student, you know, for us is just a huge success. The most important thing I learned here is to be confident, like be a leader, help help out other people that's going through the same thing you're going through, and then they don't have to go through that bad road that other people don't been through in their life. Being surrounded by people who love you, and you seeing that love every day, you're absorbing that love, that energy, and uh, that fellowship with your brothers, and, and they learn how to care for people. You just pass it on, it's contributing to the cycle. That's the win. That's the win. And uh, I get emotional when I think about those kids and where they come from, and nobody gave them a chance. And they come in here and their life changed all because somebody cared. Somebody cared. So that's why it's so important for people to get involved in other people's lives. And I say it often it's just loving on folks, just love on somebody. And then you can change lives. If you're a fan of Greater Chattanooga, support it. Becoming a sustaining member of WTCI is easy and affordable, and it makes a big difference. Visit greaterchattanooga.org slash donate. Thanks.